Medicare and Medicaid are essential components of our nation's health care system. Many small health care providers are dependent on reimbursements from these programs. Changes to the programs can, be, can have profound economic effects on their businesses. With many small providers struggling to stay afloat, it seems that a number of medical practices and pharmacies are merely one reimbursement cut away from being forced to close their doors. As program costs have risen, Congress has taken steps to cut them. All too often, CMS implementation of these efforts to reduce costs have placed small health care providers on an unlevel playing field and threatened their continued viability. In some instances, CMS has adopted rules to implement cost-cutting measures, which is understood. When ag agencies, though, make rules, the law requires them to consider their impacts on small businesses and examine less burdensome alternatives. The Small Business Committee has jurisdiction over this important law known as the Regulatory Flexibility Act. The committee has held several oversight hearings on CMS in the 110th Congress, <clears throat> and we have seen that the agency can do a better job of meeting its obligations to small firms. When CMS implements regulations and programs unfairly, it hurts not just small providers, but also patients and damages the entire health care system for all Americans. Several CMS programs are creating particular concern among, among small health care providers. For instance, the Recovery Audit Contractor Program will be one of those. Because of the enormous scale of Medicare, it is inevitable that some errors in the payment process will occur. In some instances, providers may be underpaid by Medicare. In others, they may be overpaid. With the aim of reducing the amount of Medicare's improper payments, Congress created the Recovery Audit Contractor Program, known as RAC. A pilot program for RAC concluded in March of this year, and now the program has become permanent. While the law requires RACs to identify underpayments to providers, it is clear that contractors are almost exclusively focusing on correcting overpayments. For example, of the $371 million of improper payments identified by RACs in fiscal year 2007, over 96% were overpayments collected from providers. Less than 4% of those dollars were underpayments repaid to providers. It is hard to believe that this number represents the true proportion of underpayments. The manner in which RACs are compensated is also troubling. RACs get a part of every dollar they bring in. This is the first time ever that Medicare has paid a contractor on a contingency fee basis. According to small providers, these contingency fees, coupled with a lack of proper oversight at CMS, have led to aggressive and, in some cases, improper pursuit of recoveries and a disregard for the accuracy of the auditing process. Another significant issue is one that impacts pharmacies nationwide. They are facing major hardships from CMS's implementation of the Deficit Reduction Act. The DRA directed CMS to recalculate the way it reimburses pharmacies for providing generic prescription drugs to Medicaid beneficiaries. Last July, CMS released a final rule which could devastate pharmacies and Medicaid recipients. The new formula dramatically reduces reimbursements to pharmacies. GAO has determined they will be paid back for only 64% of their cost of acquiring generic prescription drugs. This rule will have a disparate impact on small retail pharmacies, an impact that CMS overlooked when it wrote the rule. Small retail pharmacies serve a higher proportion of Medicaid beneficiaries and get more of the revenue from prescription drugs. Implementation of this rule may force many of them out of business, reducing access to care for millions of Americans. It is clear that CMS needs to do a better job of considering the needs of small health care providers when it implements programs and regulations. I look forward to today's testimony and I thank the witnesses for coming here to share their stories.